The happiest guy in the world that that defense locked down in the second half. We welcome me and Coach Ed Ogeron from the LSU Tigers. What's up, Coach? How you feeling, man? What do you say, Marcus? Feeling great here in Baton Rouge today. Coach, I was there in the in the stadium. I was in the locker room when you walked in with the team from the Tiger Walk. You were one-eyed focused, didn't see anything around you. Tell me about just initially how, what was the magnitude of that game to you guys and, and that what did that win mean? Obviously, we wanted to beat Florida, a team that we didn't play very well against uh, last year. Our team was very motivated just because of that. Then to walk down the Tiger Walk and to see Tiger Stadium like it was, it was definitely the winning edge for us. Coach, obviously that was a great win for you guys, but moving forward, what's the focus this week from what you saw going off of that Florida game? Take the next step. Continue to run the football. I was very pleased with our offensive line. No sacks against the best pass rush we had seen all year. Continue to play great defense like we did in the second half, putting more pressure on the quarterback, better at coverage. That's one. That was probably the biggest takeaway. We knew Joe – had been amazing all year. So accurate, responded. The numbers speak for themselves. The big plays speak for themselves. But the offensive line coach, not just in protection, but their ability to create some opportunities in the run game, that was a huge difference. So how much more can that group evolve and continue to get better to, to where they're one of the better groups in the country? I do believe that our tackles played very well. Austin Dickless and Sadiq Jaws had their best games. Uh, Damian Lewis is an excellent football player. Having Ed Ingram back has helped us out along with Adrian McGee, but it all starts with Lloyd Cushenberry. He took it upon himself this week to be a great leader, and I'm so proud of him. Coach, you're different. You approach the game different. I, you know, you, obviously I love it because you, <laughs> you're my guy and you coach at LSU. But before the game, you told Rinaldi, this is where teams' dreams come to die. <laughs> and your team is playing like that. Where do you get that edge from? EO, and, and, and talk about the team responding to that edge as well. You know, I think you have to coach with an edge. Uh, you got LSU, we coach with an edge. We're Tigers, we're from Louisiana. We are born with that edge. <laughs> <laughs> coach, uh, we were there for the spring game, and, and I asked you point blank because you knew when you took the job it might be a bit of a transition. And I said, Coach, what's the year? What year are you circling to say, hey, this is our year to make our – you said this year. This is the one without skipping a beat. What was it about this roster that made you know that this was the year that you were going to elevate to heights that we hadn't seen in quite some time? You know, I knew we had the receivers. Jamar Chase is an excellent player. Justin Jefferson, Terrence Marshall, along with the rest of the guys. But the difference in our football team this year is Joe Burrow. Uh, Joe Burrow's an excellent quarterback. He's a leader. And the addition of Joe Brady and us going to the spread, him and Insbinger have done a tremendous job of working together. I'm so proud of those guys. Coach, I, I want to get off of football for a second. I mean, obviously, this was a great game. We had a great time watching. But I want to know what you did after this game was over. How does Coach O celebrate? Recruit, recruit, yeah. recruit. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> you walk right back in. Say, hey, you guys see that? You want to come do that here? Let's go, That's right? Exactly right. Pretty good recruiting tool, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you even have to say anything after that, Coach? It kind of recruits itself after that, doesn't it? You know, to see the crowd at the end of the game, and we all know what they were doing. It was electrifying. All the recruits that were there want to be a part of that. That's why you come to LSU. I can't thank our fans enough. To one of the most electrifying stadiums I've ever been in. Coach, as you continue to move through this season and you stacking up these wins, you undefeated. Obviously, the Florida game was a top-10 matchup. Every game gets bigger. Right. How are you continuing to keep that message for these guys yeah. to keep everything in perspective? You know, the, the margin of error is about like that for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's every day. It's ongoing skill development. It's about our football team, about us getting better at every phase of our football team. All right, Coach, we have this thing that's called the suggestion box. We open it up. We pull out a random question. We don't know what the question is. We have no idea is. what the question is. So if it's terrible, blame Marcus. Yeah. It's, all right. uh, <laughs> this, all right, you got an interesting one, Coach. If you were an item from the Taco Bell menu, what would you be? Uh, burrito Supreme. <laughs> <laughs> That's a no-brainer. That's actually a good one. That's a good question. Yeah. Coach, hey, man, look, you already know I appreciate it. I was down in the Bayou Saturday. Unbelievable electricity. The season is still ahead. We appreciate yep. you joining us today, Coach. Thank you, guys. Go Tigers. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.